Gary Saporsky, Dairy Development Manager with Vita Plus. A 43 years background growing up on a dairy farm, spending 18 years with nutrition work, and then uh, 23 years as a banker, still uh, on the board of directors, was the uh, president and CEO of the bank at one time, and also asked by the Federal Reserve to uh, be an advisor. And now uh, working with Vita Plus, uh, with our financial group, and doing a lot of meetings for a lot of producers around the Midwest and the country. We're going to talk about this roller coaster ride that's going on in an industry, and it's gone on for a long time. This is nothing new. But anytime we have a down cycle, all of a sudden people have to rearrange and take a hard look at what's going on. I'd like to talk more on when things are doing good, what producers need to do, building liquidity, making sure they've got cash on hand for times when they go the other direction. And I've got some really interesting slides this morning that show about a three-year bounce in milk prices. And it shouldn't be no surprise once we see high prices that there will be low prices because the dairy producers are pretty good at responding with additional cows and milk production when things are good. And we have a lot of expansion that goes on during that time. But in times like this, they really need to watch that cost of production. They need to know where that is. They need to get themselves set liquidity-wise so they're able to pay bills when things go down like they are. Big decision that they're gonna be able to make is what to do with the, the liquidity that they build up or should have build up. In other words, you have to get yourself in a position to be able to pay bills and also work with your lender. Extremely important. You gotta take care of what's in your barnyard. Now, it's nice to know what's going on worldwide, nice to know what's going on US wide, but what are you doing on your own place? And you always gotta make sure you're taking care of the cows because cows do not understand balance sheets or cash flows. They understand comfort, and they understand being properly cared for, and they understand staying healthy. And we can't compromise that. You can't give up on milk. you got to keep the milk there. And either you're in or out of this business, and a lot of dairy producers want to stay in it. They've just got to know their financials.